In terms of motor dysfunction, what we may see is a poor sitting posture. So challenges with tolerate, tolerating our sitting posture for extended periods of time. Um, they may also have poor balance. Um, this is really crucial for school age children as well as our, our little guys um, that may be in preschool um, and our older children that may have to sit for long periods of the day. If they're having challenges in terms of their motoric system based upon uh, sensory processing disorder, then sitting will result in them feeling discomfort. And when a child has discomfort, they may then present with behavioral challenges such as eloping behaviors, wanting to leave the task. Sometimes aggressive behaviors may come out. And frankly, a lot of movement, wiggling around, constantly wanting to be out of their seat. So sometimes if a child doesn't have ADHD, they may still present as being hyperactive um, because of this issue and misdiagnoses can occur. A difficulty with coordinating gross motor and motoric activities um, can result in challenges in terms of our head, neck, and eye movements. Um, and the combination of the head, the neck, and the eyes are crucial uh, for learning, sitting and attending, being able to look at a board and write off of the board, being able to read and still maintain your arousal and attention. Lastly, primitive reflexes may also be present in some of our children. So these are reflexes that are present at the start of life. Um, they're very important to babies as well as toddlers. Uh, they allow the baby to come through the birth canal. Um, they also allow us to then learn how to move our bodies. How do we use our arms for function? How do we crawl? How do we walk? And these reflexes are are very important at the beginning, but then they integrate for functional movement later in life. So we won't really see them um, as a child progresses in, ter in terms of their earlier stages of preschool years, um, going into school age. Yet when they don't integrate appropriately, we may still see those primitive reflexes coming out and emerging, and then we will then have a motoric dysfunction as well as having uh, problems with coordination and interacting um, for age-appropriate activities.